After three seasons of battling in the midfield and a fourth spent struggling at the back of the grid, Andretti Motorsport partnered with BMW, launching the German giant's full factory entry into Formula E, BMW i Andretti Motorsport. BMW factory driver Antonio Felix Acosta was joined by Formula E rookie Alexander Sims. The team impressed in pre-season testing and made good on that promise in the opening round in Diria, where Da Costa took BMW's first pole position and race win. But the celebrations were short-lived as a second victory remained out of reach. The team's lowest point came in round two in Marrakesh when their cars collided while battling for the lead, throwing away a certain 1-2 finish. And while Da Costa remained in contention for the title right up until the final weekend in New York City, inconsistent results ultimately saw him finish a distant sixth in the Drivers' Championship. Sims, meanwhile, had a miserable debut season, suffering car failures and penalties and often ending up in the wall through no fault of his own. The result was fifth in the team's championship. It was a season of what-ifs, with a lot of points left on the table. With Antonio Felix da Costa leaving the team for DS Giacita, BMW i Andretti Motorsport have enlisted 22-year-old Max Gunther as his replacement. With a promising debut season at JOX Dragon behind him, BMW will be expecting good results from the outset. Having proved his pace for the podium at the end of last season, Alex Sims has earned a second outing at the team. He'll be hoping for a bit more consistency and a lot more luck this summer round. To get a few more podiums would be great and to, to win a race or two would be amazing. Um, I think if you're in the position where you've got some podiums and, and got a race win or two, then immediately that means that you're probably going to be high up in the championship or fighting for the win. <laughs> Founded in 1916, BMW's automotive and motorsport heritage is illustrious, so let's take a look back. The Evolution of BMW The evolution of BMW started in 1929 with the DA2. The first car to bear the BMW name had a top speed of 72 km per hour and was upgraded for the German market, switching it to a left-hand drive. The 1936 BMW 328, 80 brake horsepower, 2 litre straight six motor, and 0 to 100 km per hour in 8.8 .8 seconds. The 328 had over 100 class wins in competition. The 1956 BMW 507. The V8 Roadster was designed with the US market in mind. Elvis Presley owned a 507 that was originally painted white but was resprayed in red because fans kept leaving lipstick marks on it. The 1968 BMW 2002 was a huge success in the USA. The 2002 Turbo was BMW's first turbocharged car and came with 170 brake horsepower and 170 pound-feet of torque. The 1972 BMW 3 liter CSL. Only 1,265 of them were built and the 1973 cars came with an impressive aero package including a huge rear wing that got it the nickname the Batmobile. The 1979 BMW M1 Pro Car, 470 brake horsepower and a top speed of 311 km per hour. The M1s were modified to include a front spoiler, an adjustable rear wing and plastic windows. The 1986 BMW E30 M3, a 2-litre naturally aspirated motor with 195 brake horsepower. The E30 M3 had 12 body panels replaced over the standard E30 to aid in its aerodynamics. The 1992 McLaren F1, 602 brake horsepower with a top speed of 386 km per hour. It was BMW designed and built and the world's fastest production car until 2010 with only 64 road cars ever made. The 1999 BMW V12 LMR, 580 brake horsepower 6 litre V12 with a 6 speed sequential gearbox. The 2006 BMW Sauber F106, this car achieved podium finishes in Hungary and Italy, and though 2006 was seen as a transitional season for the team, the F106's performance was a welcome surprise. The 2013 BMW i3, 0-100 per hour in 7.2 seconds. BMW i is a Formula E founding partner and official vehicle partner, with the BMW i3 as the medical and extraction car. The 2014 BMW i8, 362 horsepower and 0 to 100 in 4.4 seconds. It has an efficient, lightweight carbon and aluminium construction and is a new benchmark in sports car aerodynamics. BMW i entered Formula E as a works team with their first all-electric racing car in the history of the BMW Group.
a key feature being the light up halo head protection device that also shows the attack mode temporary power boost. Can BMW replicate their season opening success of last year? Find out when Formula E returns on the 22nd and 23rd of November for the Diria E-Prix.